Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church, so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so now in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Robert and Megan, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God, to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? Robert and Megan, since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, please now join your hands and declare your consent before God and His church. Robert, do you take Megan for your lawful wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do you part? Megan, do you take Robert for your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do you part. May the Lord in His kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment His blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Megan, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Robert, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us now accompany this new family with our prayers, that the mutual love of this couple may grow daily, and that God in His kindness will sustain all families throughout the world. For this bride and groom, and for their well-being as a family, we pray to the Lord. For their relatives and friends, and for all who have assisted this couple, we pray to the Lord. 
for young people preparing to enter marriage and for all whom the Lord is calling to another vocation, we pray to the Lord. For all families throughout the world, and for lasting peace among all peoples, we pray to the Lord. For all members of our families who have passed from this world, and for all the faithful departed. For the church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who are present in our midst, as Robert and Megan seal their union, accept our prayer and fill us with your Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on these his servants now married in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and make of one heart and love by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood those he has joined by a holy covenant. Let us take a moment to pray quietly for Robert and Megan. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be, might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadow the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Megan. Let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commands made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear a true witness to Christ before all, and grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years, for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord, amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Brothers and sisters, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Robert Murillo.